All right, in this video, we are going to look at adding a header image to your new Focus website. So the way we're going to do that is we're going to visit, we're in the thesis admin here, which is inside the WordPress admin. We're going to visit the skin menu and we're going to click on header image. Click this green button to select a header image from your WordPress media gallery. And we'll pick one like this one right here. Click set header image and there it is. So after that is set, we're going to visit our site hold shift and click refresh to see our changes and boom there is the header image a um, couple things to notice here right now the header image is appearing beneath the site title and tagline in the header uh, and it is also not clickable so we can actually control some of the aspects of this and we've got some options and we will do that now so back in the thesis admin we're going to click on skin go down to content and display and quick, quick note here about the way this stuff is set up and the way these options pages work. So content and display is for turning on and off items that appear in your templates. Uh, it's an easy way to turn on and off certain items or to, to adjust the behavior of certain items. Uh, the top half of the page, the display options are specifically for that turning on, turning off kind of thing. Turn on, turn off with some various other options, which we'll go into in just a second. And the bottom half of the page is for any particular item uh, within your uh, within your templates that has editable options. So for example, uh, we'll go to the blog page here. Uh, each item that appears on your blog page is considered an article, uh, okay? And it's it appears within what's called a post box. So we could click on this, and there's you know, one option for the uh, schema, the markup schema that gets conveyed in here. So this is one way you would go, go in and, and edit very granular options if you wanted to. And just, just saying that for your edification here, probably not gonna wanna do that in most cases. Um, if you watched my previous video about the, adding a logo to your focus site, uh, we went into the site title here and edited an option, uh, but there's not gonna be too much of this going on. But bottom line is, you will know that those things are there if you need them. Okay, back to our mission at hand here, which is the header image. And we can go into the uh, content and display options, like I said, into global layout elements. And global layout elements are anything that's gonna appear on all of your templates or a majority of your templates, okay? And the header image is one of those things. The header image has two specific options here. Uh, the first one is the location. Right now it's at the bottom of the header. This area before this first line break here is the header of your website. Right now it's at the bottom. We could change that to the top. We'll do that just for fun. And then we can also link the header image to a particular destination. We could have no link, which is what we have now. We can link to the home page, to the blog page if you're running a static home page in your WordPress environment, or a custom link that you specify here. For now, we'll just link to the home page, and remember, we moved it to the top of the header as well. We will save it, we'll visit our site, hold shift, click refresh. The reason why we hold shift and click refresh is because it's going to dump the browser cache and guarantee that we are seeing the latest and greatest version of our site. And boom, so the header image is now clickable, and it has also been moved above the site title and tagline. Now, a couple things I'm gonna, I want to uh, point out here. So the, the first question that a lot of people have is, well, what's the difference between a header image and a logo? Well, let's add our logo back in really quickly, and I will show you. So there's a logo, there it is. Okay, notice the logo, well, the logo image needs to be clickable. We'll make it clickable. All right, so the logo image is designed so that it it's designed in such a way that if you wanted to make modifications you could have stuff an ad a menu this tagline text you could have stuff appearing out to the side of it so the way this is coded up it's it's ready to accommodate your customizations if you want to move stuff around to the side of it the logo is not designed to take up the entire width of the page that you have right now the header image is designed to cover the full usable width of the layout. So ideally your header image is going to be as wide as what as your, your total layout width. And I will show you where that is as well. So if we go into the design options and base layout dimensions, we have a total width 
variable here, 1,040 pixels. If you are going to use a header image, ideally you would make it as wide as the total width of your layout. So th this image is a poor one because it's not exactly 1,040 pixels wide. It's not quite that wide. But if I were really going to be serious about doing this and adding a header image to my site, I would make sure that this image is 1,040 pixels wide or larger because it will be shrunk into the 1,040 pixel wide area when it is ultimately displayed on your web pages. So that's the difference between a header image and logo. Functionally, header image is going to take up the full horizontal space that you have available. The logo is not and is designed uh, to be able to accommodate stuff out to the side. You don't have to operate that way, but just letting you know that's how it works. Uh, also, one other note I want to make. Under these global layout element options for the header image location specifically, these can be modified. Now, currently it takes code to do this, but you can visit my forums and I can help you out with that. But if you wanted to have this appear in other locations, maybe you've added some sort of other customization to your site, some new elements, something like that, and you really want to use this header image type functionality, but just in a different location that just happens to work better with your customized design, I can help you with that. It's very easy to do. Uh, but anyway, this just wanted to let you know that this uh, this functionality is uh, it's dynamic. It is um, it can be adapted to whatever situation you need. And uh, like I said, I can help you out in the forums, and I'm happy to do so. All right, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.